Hey everybody, John with Vine Lee here. This is going to be a little bit of a different video. There's been a uh, a trend in the vinyl community uh, over the past, I guess, few weeks or, or maybe even months. I don't know. Where um, record people like myself, like you, like us, make a video and talk about the 10 albums that they listen to the most. Uh, may not necessarily be their top 10 favorite artists, maybe not even their top 10 favorite albums, but um, when when we are just want to listen to a record, want to maybe demo equipment for somebody, for a guest, um, or just, just listen to something, what are the top 10 albums that I go to? That's what this video is going to be about. What are the top 10 albums that I pull off? I just want to listen to an album, vinyl album. So, uh, I the most recent one of these videos that I watched was by Andy Ford. And I will link to Andy's channel in the description. Uh, very entertaining guy. Uh, seems like a really good guy. And so, if you want to check out his video when you're done this one, of course, feel free to go over and check out Andy's channel. And uh, so, let's dig into it. These are the top 10 albums that I listen to on vinyl. And here we go. Number one, these are in no particular order, by the way. These are just, I stacked them up. Foo Fighters, Echoes, Silence, Patience, and Grace. Um, I really like the Foo Fighters overall. This, for some reason, this has become my favorite album. Um, it's got uh, some songs you know, The Pretender, Long Road to Ruin, um, but honestly, Home... Um, come alive stranger things have happened. There, there's some really solid stuff on this album um, So it's a double album so eightfold and um, the only Kind of aggravating thing about this album is that there you can see here. There are three songs per album side uh, So it involves a lot of getting up and flipping the album or putting the other album on and I, I tend to this listen to this one here in my office because the record player is right there and I can just kind of roll over there and flip it and come back but uh, if you watched one of my early early videos about a visit to a record store called Kilgore Trouts in Myrtle Beach South Carolina that's where I found this and oddly enough you cannot you cannot find this album everywhere you, you know you can find Foo Fighters albums Medicine at Midnight Concrete and Gold uh, the first album the greatest hits is everywhere but Echo Silence, Patience and Grace is a really hard album to find in the stores. So I'm really, I feel really lucky that I found one. So here it is. Number one, it's Foo Fighters, Echo Silence, Patience and Grace. Number two, Amy Winehouse, Back to Black. There's just something about the way this album is mixed and recorded and something about Amy's music uh, and Mark Ronson. Mark Ronson was involved in this one as well. Uh, it just says vinyl to me. It just, this is what vinyl music should be for me. Um, it just feels right to, <laughs> to put this record on and have those sounds come out. Uh, you know the songs on here. Um, Back to Black, Rehab is on here. You know I'm no good. Um, da -da -da. Anyway, there's a lot of a lot of really solid stuff here. Love is a losing game. Me, and Mr. Jones, lots of great stuff. This there's nothing special about this particular copy. Uh, it I think I bought it at Target or Walmart or somewhere. I kept the shrink on it because I could. Um, it does say it was made in Canada, which I don't know if that's significant or not. But I keep the shrink on these on these single you know mass market albums if I can. Uh, I don't have a sleeve on this. I will have to get some more sleeves. From vinyl storage solutions but anyway amy winehouse back to black uh, just sounds good number th three here it is amanda shires take it like a man uh this is kind of um if you're not familiar with amanda's music um her husband is jason isabel and they collaborate a lot uh, she's part of his band and and he plays on her albums and it's kind of um kind of um, Americana, I don't know if you call it alt country, I'm not sure what you call it. I call it good. How about that? 
Uh, you probably, you may not know a lot of these other than Take It Like a Man. If you're familiar with Amanda's music, you've heard Take It Like a Man. But this is a really, really good album uh, as well. Um, some kind of crazy pictures here in the in the gatefold. It's a single album. It's not a double. It's a gatefold single album. But um, Amanda Shires, I think um, she's super talented. And this album sounds really good on vinyl. So it's one that I reach for quite a bit. Number four. Van Halen. I picked just the first Van Halen. I could have picked any of the first four. I know there's a lot of debate in the Van Halen community about which ones are good, which ones are bad. For me, the first four are all solid. I love all of them. So I picked the first one because this is just such fantastic album art. I mean, and you know all the music that's on here, Running With The Devil, Eruption, You Really Got Me. I mean, there's just, it's just a classic, classic album. So when I want to hear that you know the sound, right? The Eddie Van Halen guitar sound and that that hard rock, that 70s hard rock feel. And when I want that, this is the album that I reach for. Van Halen, not this one or any of the other first four. Van Halen. Uh, number five, Pink Floyd, Final Cup. I know. There's lots of Pink Floyd stuff. Uh I'm probably one of the very few who who likes Final Cut maybe the best of all of them. I like them all. But the Final Cut just is something, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I like the Final Cut quite a bit. This is a Japanese copy. Um, it's, it's really solid quality recording uh, of one of my favorite Pink Floyd albums. So Pink Floyd Final Cut, you probably are all familiar with it. Um, there's a nice gatefold. So this one is for me. I don't usually have to pull this one out and play it for other people because they give me looks like, why is that the Pink Floyd album? Where's Dark Side of the Moon or where's the wall? I like the final cut. Whatever. Next one. I lost track. I only pulled 10. So whatever number this is, here it is. Rolling Stones, Sticky Fingers. Iconic album, right? Iconic album. This particular one is an early copy. which has got the actual zipper. Um, and I'll probably do a longer video on Sticky Fingers because there's lots to talk about on this album. But here's the thing you need to remember. You don't need to remember this, but I like to say it. For me, if we had taken, if they had taken Song 5 on Side 1, which is You Gotta Move, move that to Side 2 and brought the song Bitch from Side 2 over to Side 1, Side 1 of this record would be one of the greatest album sides of all time. It's Brown Sugar, Sway, Wild Horses, Can't You Hear Me Knocking, and then it would be, if they switched, Bitch. That, it would be an amazing album side. It's still a great album. Still one that I listen to all the time. Uh, I can't listen to these songs without playing air guitar or banging on my desk or whatever. This is just a super great album. And like I said, I'm really happy with, with this particular copy because it's an early one. And it's got the working zipper. So this is one I do like to show people. Next. You know I'm going to have a Monkees album in this collection, right? I'm a big Monkees fan. I am. I don't know what to tell you. So the one I pulled is Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Jones. I'm a big fan of Headquarters. You guys know that. I did a video about Headquarters uh, a few weeks ago. But this is the one I tend to listen to on vinyl even more i stream headquarters quite a bit but i listened to this one on vinyl for a while i, I don't know why this has um uh, she hangs out door into the summer cuddly toy words what am i doing hanging around pleasant valley sunday star collector some really and don't call on me which is uh, kind of a sleeper monkey song i think it's fantastic uh again this is another japanese copy if you want to take a look at that i don't know why um I have a couple of Japanese copies. That's just what I have. That's what I have. Anyway, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Jones. So that's another one that I pull out and listen to quite a bit. Next up, Genesis, Three Sides Live. And again, I know. I know. There are lots of Genesis albums. Why do you like this one? This one's three Three of the four sides are live. Uh, <laughs> oddly enough, the side I like the, the best is the studio side. 
um, which has some songs that you may not be super familiar with, but if you're a Genesis fan, you know them. Paper Late, you might recall, Me and Virgil, Evidence of Autumn, and Open Door. I just love side four of this album. I mean, the, the rest of it is great too, because Duke is probably my second favorite Genesis album, and there's live versions of songs from Duke on here, including Behind the Lines and Duchess. Um, but this also has Turn It On Again, Abacab, Misunderstanding. There's some really, really solid stuff on here. And these guys were at the top of their game, as far as I'm concerned, when they recorded this album. So Genesis Three Sides Live. Again, here's the inside of the gatefold. This is another one that I listen to on vinyl uh, quite a bit. A few weeks ago, we did a video about the Cars debut. Here it is. This is in my top 10 as well. Uh, it just is. It, it really could be a Cars Greatest Hits, and we mentioned that when we were talking about it. But some of the songs on here, I mean, listen to this lineup. Good Times Roll, My Best Friend's Girl, Just What I Needed, I'm In Touch With Your World, Don't Just Stop, You're All I've Got Tonight, Bye Bye Love, Moving In Stereo, and All Mixed Up. This is... This is a Cars Greatest Hits album, and I think it's fantastic. Um, and this one is one I listen to quite a bit. I have got several copies of um, Candio as well. And I do listen to that one from time to time. But, you know, this one is just like, put this on and you just know every song. Okay, last one of the ten. It actually was kind of hard cutting this down to ten. I had like 14 on the list, so I, I cut it down to ten. This one's going to surprise you probably a little bit because the videos that I've done primarily have been um, pop and rock, a lot of 70s rock, classic rock, um, and some or some 80s um, hair metal and, and things like that. But I have to admit, and this is not a recent phenomenon for me, um, I, I can be a little bit of a Swifty. Uh, it's true. It's true. So I chose... Um, Evermore as my uh, as my tenth uh, folklore and Evermore for me when 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 Taylor Swift went into that kind of um, you know that Americana that alt folky Americana feel uh, I just think those two albums are fantastic I could have pulled for fo <laughs> I could have pulled out folklore as well. Because that's the one that really made me pay attention to where she was going with this with this uh, music, but uh, I've got Evermore here, and um, there's the inside of the gatefold, and there's the back cover. Um, this has um, you know champagne problems, tis the damn season, nobody no crime, um, Ivy. Uh, these are not. Um, I understand these are not everyday like titles for taylor swift right uh it, people who are kind of vaguely familiar with taylor swift will know all of those other songs for me these two albums folklore and, and evermore uh are just great and i love the way this sounds on vinyl uh it, again it's it's got a lot it's got a lot of acoustic guitar and a lot of atmosphere to it so this is my number 10 is uh taylor swift evermore and i think that's all 10 yeah that's all 10 so let me know what yours are you know, whether you listen to them on vinyl, I mean, that's really the kind of the point here is what do you listen to on vinyl. But, you know, let me know in the comments what your favorite albums are. And if you agree or disagree with my selections, let me know. We can always have a debate about music because there's no right or wrong answers. It's just opinions, right? So let me know in the comments what you think of this list. And thank you for watching, everybody. And have a great day.